Hi everyone and welcome back to Macaroon. In this video, I'll show you how to draw these super realistic soap bubbles. Believe it or not, this is much easier than it looks and you can use this method to impress everyone in your art class. If you're new here, then please hit that subscribe button since there are very few places left in the under 1 million club for Macaroon and cute life hacks. To get started, you'll need some black paper. You can find this in any stationery shop or you can simply ask your teachers at school. Then you'll need some colored pencils. Double check that your set has a white pencil because not all brands include this. Now pick out all the bright colors that will show up best on black. I'm using white, yellow, orange, pink, turquoise and light green. First, find a round object to use as your template and then trace around it to get a circle. The larger this is, the easier it will be to color it in later on, so if you're a beginner, then start with something bigger. Now sketch a smaller circle about one third of the way inside and then draw an X shape that extends out in all directions. Both of these are guidelines so they don't have to look perfect and you should also take care not to press too hard. Now take your white pencil and start filling in this area like I'm doing here. The purpose of these guidelines is to create a shape that looks like a curved window reflection. In order for the bubble to look most realistic, it needs to show a reflection of the light source. I've seen a few other tutorials on YouTube get this part wrong because they didn't realize that the pattern on a soap bubble is actually supposed to be a window. So keep this in mind and try to make your lines curve evenly with the bubble. Now add two more reflections on each side, one along the inner circle and another one in the gap in between. Then draw some dotted highlights along one diagonal guideline and emphasize the outer part where it touches the edge of the bubble. Now take a colored pencil, I'm starting with pink, and gently begin adding some tints to the reflections. Switch to another pencil and start building up a pastel rainbow effect using all the colors you picked out in the beginning. Make sure you leave enough black paper showing through because if you add too much color then the bubble will end up looking solid instead of transparent. Now take some white acrylic paint, nail polish, or tippets. Use a brush or toothpick to create some really sharp highlights on the reflections that you drew earlier. This step really makes the transparency of the bubble pop out. Now that your first bubble is done, you might have noticed some places where you felt like you added too much or too little color. So simply draw a second one and continue practicing. You can watch the whole process here again in time lapse.
As a final finishing touch, I realized that adding some pink shading to a single quadrant of the bubble makes it look even more realistic. Use the guidelines to make sure that you're only coloring in one quarter of the bubble like I'm doing here. Once you're happy with the drawing, just take an eraser and rub out your guidelines. I think these bubbles look brilliant and I hope you'll have a great time drawing them as well. By the way, I love seeing all of the art and crafts you guys make on Instagram, so please follow me there under my username Macaroon and tag me or use my hashtag so I can see your work. This is Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!